Um, we are going to be doing scratch calculator. So you go on scratch. Well, I'll just turn show you how to go. Well, well, just a red dress. But, but that's red dress. Scratch me, Edu. Yes, the new scratch is here. But we're going to go to Kuwait. And this may take some time. And this went faster. So, so we go name it calculator. Good. So we've done a little, just titled it. So now we're going to have to make all the systems. So we're going to take an event block. So basically, um, this is the activation um, system, and and it makes um, sense. So this just basically means when that is clicked, activate code. So we're first going to go to stay system, and let's make this guy a genius. Let's pretend. Wait. Great at math. So we're we'll basically they will go and do it. If we get enough likes and uh, more subscribers, we, I might do a part two when we upgrade it. So So, okay, that's the first line. But just to be clear, yeah, we're not gonna be. This won't say. It will just put like exclamation mark. Let me show you. It won't say anything. There's no recording, like instant record like like mp3 file maker none of that just just show me so now let's make it ask a question ask we're going to use the ask block and we and yeah that also just that that also happened so what's your name um he will basically won't answer because that's not the list so yeah, first number. Question. So, so we're gonna make first number variable. We can do either of these because this project will only con con conclude one. Don't do this because that will just be um, online data, and I'm not sure if you want to online data, but let's just do it. It's meant. So you may don't want it here, so you can set it. And we're going to be having a way to detect what the user wrote. Probably going to write a number. So that is. The first part. Now we're going to make it ask another what symbol like add minus times and divide. Now, wait. I'll suppose Ava plus. Comma, take away the times, comma, wait, no, comma, slash, dot. So now it's going to be waiting. So now the user will use the symbol. But this time we're going to pick like a, a little system which will 
and and I'll and I would like to name it an invalid system. So we're going to make a variable called operator. Operator. Okay, we've got an operator. So we can change it by this. Well, we can. This is the delete function. We're not actual variables. So just delete function. So we're going to go off. We got operator. What number? May guess it. It may be the answer. Answer. So we're going to now make the invalid system. Now we're going to take an if block. There must be if else. Do not take this or the invalid. It work, but but we're adding the bonus, which is the invalid system. So we're going to be doing a little thing. So we're going to go and get um four ores, which will is also equivalent to three ores. So we've got four slots. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to have to put what we want. So we're going to be taking equals equals, equals variables. Sorry, Ryan pulled it out. We're going to put it there. Just make sure it's not. It make sure it's just the the darker green part, not anything else. And also make sure to keep the equal symbol, or else this will not work. So let's take a plus and minus. A times a divide. So we've got all the symbols, but what to take from? And we're going to be taking the data. Well, we're like what, whatever the answer was, whatever it will take it. So we're just going to put all of these in. Operator. So uh, we're going to uh, like. Like accept it, like accept. Yeah, this is correct, not a number or a letter. So we're going to be putting uh, the operator tag to be answer. Yes, we already did it, but let's make it that it's actually confirmed. But now let's make the valid part. So with this part, we'll just say. Invalid. Invalid. So it says invalid. So we're going to make it ask the number. If you're going to be doing something like something times blah blah blah, that will work. So let's. So we're going to be doing this. So now we've got invalid. So let's show. Let's do this like a num. Let's do a number like seventy-eight. So now even now let's put a, but it'll say invalid, which is is maybe confusing. So if it's one of these, it would accept. It's a, if it's anything else, it's not on the lines of that. And it'll say invalid. So now we're going to go to second a count number. So we've got a second number. So ask a second number, please. But it won't. It can't read. Oh my! Read brains and accept it. And it's not very intelligent. Scratch it in the. Like super intelligent. No, it's not intelligent. It's intelligent but not very. So now we're going to get four if statements. No else this time. You may want to do it and and we may want to do it and put invalid like copy the system, but 
this time we're going to give if if then with no else a turn. So we're going to go here and right click and then it'll copy it for you which is 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 very useful. You duplicate. You. Yeah and if it keeps turning on make sure to tap that. So then we're going to take do this and then we lost. So we're nearly done. We're going to have to now put the answer safe. So op the operator is going to say so we're going to be using the the thing join. So so there's two statements, apple and also space but none. So the, the, this is the like the answer what equals equals apple banana. So we're going to put this in here. Now the, now we're going to make it and the room will begin the on so is so now we're going to put put the a banana but remember to make a space or say or, or the dot dots the the dot dots will just connect and we don't want to do we that do we so we're going to add we adding so we're going to get our two rounds first number and also, yeah, forgot to make the second number available. Sorry, I am so sorry. But we made the second. Then give it to all points. So we're going to just change this to a second number. And if it turns on, tap this if you don't want it on. I'm asking you, I'm going to type in there and then say invalid and that's done. So this will now. So now he'll currently only do plus questions. But let's like copy this. Duplicate. So how can what shall we do with this piece of script? So the answer is but this time it's a minus. So what is this minus? Not plus. And we're going to move this up. Yeah, there's two ways. So these which are links. Yeah, there's two ways. So, yeah, we've done this, so now let's duplicate this, it's again, but we're not doing in times, we're going to be doing divides, wait no, I mean times, times will be for the next, uh, divide will be for next one and times is current, so we just completed it and not for the seconds, not the seconds, if you make a like, Days like that, it'll take like near forever. That's how many seconds you will wait. And I'm, I'm 100% sure that nobody would. Well, not 100%, but, but I'm sure no one really wants to wait a million years. So now we're not going to be doing time, or we'll just give an equivalent effect. We're going to be placing it the times alternative so once we insert this you have done it so let's ask him a, like a question so let's ask him 12 times 12 which is 144 so 12 operator times then 12 let's see if he will say 104 because 12 times 12 equals 144 let me show you 12 times 12 equals 144 as you see so let's see if he will give us a correct answer yes he did so that it works so remember to save or you might just lose it gone permanent banned destroyed any of those words so thanks for watching and this will wrap it up